But the ECHL is underway. Colorado Eagles celebrating their 10th season. Been a success story from day one and continue to be the hottest ticket in all of Loveland. Major King has their story. I hate seeing a lockout. I want to see the NHL guys play. It's entertaining for me. You got billionaires that are arguing with millionaires. I would miss my hockey if the Eagles weren't playing. There has been a decade of sunsets since the Colorado Eagles were hatched at the Budweiser Event Center. It's hockey night! Are you ready? Lockout? Not in the ECHL. I'm just in love with it. I'm like, I just want to go to the games all the time. I'm like, get sick, get sick so I can go. <laughs> hockey is life for some, and life goes on for Chris Stewart. He's been here from the start. From a coach's perspective, you'd never expect to be anywhere for 11 years. I think two and a half years is, is kind of the, the length of most coaches. Since the announcement of the team's arrival back in 2002, Eagles highlights are easy to find. 2004, 2005, Ray Myron, President's Cup. We've seen this company grow, become a big member of the community, and do some very good things, not only off the ice, but uh, on the ice as well. Like success? The Eagles have made the playoffs every single year of their existence, twice winning CHL titles. Pankowitz catches a carom on the left side. And who could forget this amazing Game 7 playoff goal by Greg Pankowitz back in 2006. Number 12, right? Also here from the start, forward Riley Nelson. The good thing about being here in Colorado is such a great fan base, support around the community, and, you know, we compete every year for, for championships. The fans are great. It just the atmosphere is great. Ah, yes, the fans. Over 350 consecutive sellouts to the very young. Yeah, and to people in cell block E, like Gil Sanchez. We're known for being the rowdy guys here at the Budweiser Event Center behind the penalty box, getting on the opposing team. What do you like, Riley? He has that leadership that's really good, and it like brings the team together as a whole instead of everybody individually. He's short like you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything left in the tank for this year? Well, I wouldn't be here if I didn't. You know, uh, I don't think that'd be fair to, fair to the Eagles or to myself. So where do you go from here? How do you keep it fresh? Know this, it's a long ways away from a one-man show. This is a group, of, a very big team that doesn't just start and end at the bench. It goes right into our office. And we've got great people in our office that are young and creative and, you know, have a lot of experience under their belt now and, and know what it takes to keep the fans entertained. You ask new guys that come in here every year why they come to Colorado. Big reason is because they've played against us before and they've seen what it's like in this building. Eagles go! Are you listening, NHL? Clock's ticking. Nice work, man.